In this month's exhibition chemistry, we're going to be looking at the conductivity and high melting point of graphite by passing an electric current through a pencil. Once students have a firm grasp of the structure and bonding in molecular structures, the next port of call is often to look at the allotropes of carbon. In this demonstration, we're going to see both its surprising conductivity and its high melting point demonstrated. You'll need to wear eye protection and work in a fume cupboard. This demonstration can produce a lot of smoke, so be aware that it may reduce the lifespan of your filter if you're using a filtration fume cupboard. I've set up a series circuit with the pencil connected uh, in some clamps and an ammeter, and there's a voltmeter across the pencil. The clamps are not in contact with either the pencil or the crocodile clip to prevent the cork from getting too hot. You should not hold the pencil in a clamp, of course, if you're using a rubber or cork lines clamps, as it will obviously get very hot. That's the whole point of the demonstration. I have here a standard school uh, power supply which is rated to 25 volts. For this demonstration you're going to need somewhere around the range of 15 to 17 volts and um, I've got some am an ammeter and a voltmeter, both of those are rated to 20 amps and 20 volts. Uh, you should obviously make sure that the ones that you're using are rated highly enough for this demonstration. As this is very much a non-standard demonstration, it's unlikely to be covered by your model risk assessment, so you should contact an organization such as Kleeps to obtain a special risk assessment as is appropriate for your uh, institution. The pencil itself uh, is about five centimeters long and I've sharpened off both ends. Um, the crocodile clips are in contact with the graphite core and that's how it's being connected into the circuit. To initiate the demonstration, what you're going to do is start off with a low voltage and dial it up somewhere between 1 to 1.5 amps and 15 to 16 volts. I tend to find that's when the pencil starts to smoke. At that point, stand back um, and you should find that after a few seconds the wood around the graphite core will ignite and burn away, leaving behind a red hot graphite core displaying both the conductivity and that high melting point of the graphite that we're interested in. If you search on YouTube for a video on melting Buckminster fullerene, it's probable that you're going to find something where you see a single molecule of Buckminster fullerene like this being heated from zero Kelvin up to somewhere around, I think, like four or five thousand Kelvin. And from that, you can see the, the, the very high temperatures that are needed to overcome the carbon-carbon single bonds here, comparing, of course, to the weaker intermolecular forces between the Buckminster fullerene molecules. I've not yet been able to find any kind of uh, an animation or a model where you're able to actually see a number of Buckminster fullerene molecules themselves melting, or in this case, of course, subliming, uh, so that students can compare in one video the forces that are needed to be overcome for the melting of the molecules compared to the forces that are needed to overcome the actual covalent bonds between the atoms. So if anyone's seen something like that uh, or is willing to produce one, that would be amazing. Please hit us up in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for listening and we'll see you next time.